Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna speak about the corrective waves, the first kind of the corrective waves, which is the zigzag. As you can see, we have four patterns in the corrective waves. Three of them are simple and one of them is complex. The simple corrective waves, as you can see, are the zigzag, the flat, and the triangle. Each pattern from this corrective waves can be in a different forms, in a different shapes. Today, we're going to see the shapes or the forms of the zigzag pattern. So let's see this pattern. There are some rules that should be respected to be able to say that we are in front of a zigzag pattern. And these rules are in front of you. Let's start with the first one, which speaks about the location of this pattern, where we can see this pattern. Well, we can see the zigzag in the wave 2 and the wave 4 from an impulsive wave or the wave B from a zigzag or wave B from a flat or the waves A and B and C and D and E from a triangle pattern. We can see it also in the wave W and X and Y and XX and Z from the combination wave and the complex pattern as we will see later. This pattern, as you can see, has three shapes and a different forms. Its wave A can be a leading diagonal pattern, which is apart from the impulsive waves that we saw their rules in the previous videos. The wave B is a corrective wave and it can be in any corrective pattern, which means it can be a zigzag, it can be a flat, it can be a triangle pattern, it can be a complex, it can be anything. The wave C, as it can be an impulsive wave, it can be also a diagonal pattern. So whether we have diagonal in our zigzag or no, the wave B should not exceed the start point from our wave A. The wave B cannot push the price to go beyond the start of the wave A, while the wave C should push the price to exceed the point that represents the end of the wave A. As you can see, the wave C has to push the price to exceed the end of the wave A. So now we know the location of this pattern, we know the subwaves of the wave A and B and C, we know the rules of its legs, wave B should not exceed the beginning of the wave A, wave C should exceed the end of the wave A. Now let's see an example from the chart, the chart of the Euro Yen. As you can see here we have a bearish impulsive wave and then it's been followed with a clear corrective pattern. This corrective pattern, as you can see, it's a zigzag. The wave A was an impulsive wave. The wave B, a corrective wave, which looks also as a zigzag wave. It can be something else, a double zigzag, like we will see its rules later. But anyway, the wave B was a corrective pattern. We said that the wave B from a zigzag pattern should be a corrective wave in any form which means that it can be also a zigzag, it can be flat, it can be triangle, it can be anything. The wave C is an ending diagonal pattern. We have five subwaves, wave 4 made an overlap with the price range of the wave 1, and it's in a wedge shape. The wave B didn't exceed the beginning of the wave A, and the wave C exceeded the end of the wave A. So here we can say that we have a simple zigzag pattern. Let's see another example on the Euro Yen. In this example, if you remember, we spoke about the diagonal patterns in the wave 1 and in the wave A from the wave 2. Here in the wave 2, as you can see, it's in a zigzag form. We have a diagonal in the wave A and an impulsive wave in the wave C. The wave B didn't exceed the beginning of the wave A and the wave C exceeded the end of the wave A. Now let's speak about the laws that arrange the other forms of the zigzag pattern which are like this. First I want to mention that we have three forms of the zigzag. The first one is the simple zigzag that we were speaking about its laws previously. The second form which is the double zigzag and we label it with WXY. As you can see we have two zigzags combined with each other through a combination wave that called the wave X. This wave X, it can be also a zigzag pattern. And when we say a zigzag, it means either 
a simple zigzag or a double zigzag like that or even triple zigzag so this is the forms of the wave x this wave x is combining between two zigzags with each other that's it so when we see two zigzags combined with each other we call it a double zigzag which means a combination wave and sometimes we don't see just two zigzags combined with each other we see a three zigzags combined with each other with two combination waves so we see a zigzag combined with another zigzag with another zigzag then another combination wave then we see a third zigzag in this case this pattern we call it a triple zigzag pattern which is also a combination wave why we name it combination wave because we have three zigzags combined with each other that's it so since we know now what does it mean a normal zigzag and double zigzag and triple zigzag now let's see the laws that arrange the subwaves of this pattern so the first law says that the wave x cannot exceed the beginning of the wave w and the wave y should exceed the end of the wave w so like the simple zigzag the wave b cannot exceed the beginning of the wave a while the wave c should exceed the end of the wave a in the double zigzag the wave x should not exceed the beginning of the wave w while the wave y should exceed the end of the wave w now let's move on to the triple zigzag pattern like the double zigzag the wave x cannot exceed the beginning of the wave w while the wave y should exceed the end of the wave w and the wave xx should not exceed the beginning of the wave y while the wave z should exceed the end of the wave y and by the way the wave x and xx from the triple zigzag it can get formed like the wave x in a double zigzag form it can be a zigzag too with its all forms it can be also a flat pattern and it can be also a triangle pattern so this is the forms of the wave x and xx and this is the forms of the zigzag pattern now let's see an example from the chart of some of the forex pairs here's the usd cad as you can see here after forming the wave a we saw a drop through a zigzag pattern then a combination wave then another zigzag pattern so as you can see we have a double zigzag in the wave b and by the way we can see the double and triple zigzag patterns in the same places where we can see the simple zigzag which means in the wave 2 and 4 from an impulsive wave or diagonal in the wave b from a zigzag like in this example it's wave b from a zigzag it can be wave b from a flat like we will see later it can be wave b from a triangle pattern it can be in all subwaves of the triangle pattern like the wave a and c and d and e it can be in the wave w it can be in the wave x and xx so basically everywhere in any place where we can see a corrective waves we can see the zigzag with its all forms and even in the waves one and three and five from a diagonal like we saw last time whether leading diagonal or ending diagonal so in our example here we can see that it's within the wave b from a zigzag we have a double zigzag pattern and finally we move on to the Yoru New Zealand pair where we can see that we have a corrective pattern this corrective pattern is a triple zigzag where we can see that we have three zigzags combined with each other the first one here is the wave A B C we label it with the wave W we have the wave X wave Y wave XX and price making the wave Z here's the wave A here's the wave B and now it's making an Indian diagonal as a wave c from z this whole triple zigzag corrective pattern is representing the wave b from a corrective wave in the higher degree so as you can see we have a multiple zigzags combined with each other with a combination waves every combination wave is not exceeding the beginning of its previous wave as you can see here the wave x didn't exceed the beginning of the wave w the wave xx didn't exceed the beginning of the wave y the wave y exceeded the end of the wave w and the wave z obviously exceeded the end of the wave y as well so this is the first simple corrective pattern with its all forms which is the zigzag i'll see you in the next 
lesson.